Welcome to Squirrel Trails. I'm David. And I'm Al. Today we're going to be going over a password management system. Today will be Dashlane. Yeah, Dashlane is the number one rated one on the uh, five password list that we saw. I actually saw it as the highest one on a 10 password list as well. Um, ran pretty highly, granted all of those lists are a little wacky, but we also saw it as a, uh, a highly rated on the App Store for Apple as well. So it's a good one to take a look at. Um, not terribly expensive, but it is something to play with and start getting used to. And there is a free trial. So that's what we'll be going through today. Uh, and I'm going to go through it and uh, show you how to install it and uh, run, run, run through the program. So here we go. This is Dashlane. Um, so this is Dashlane.com. Uh, it's a, it is a password manager. Um, it's got a fairly nice layout on their home screen here. Uh, easy access to get to right there. Uh, um, it's free, so we're going to get it for free. Um, but first, let's check it out really quick. So, what is a password manager? Uh, password manager. Security keeps track of all your passwords. It is the only way to create unique passwords for all accounts. Not the only way, but it's, it's uh, essentially the, only, the easiest way to do it. Um, you can create your own unique passwords uh, yourself, but they're um, not very uh, difficult. These ones are very difficult. Um, you can make yours difficult, but if you try to remember it and make, make, it, make your own, um, good luck. Uh, and so never forget your password. So you can add import passwords um, or save them to your browser. Um, however you get them uh, in Dashlane and never tra keep track of them again. So you can kind of see all the accounts, how they're laid out here. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's a never type another password. So it's an autofill your passwords for you. Just enter the email. And you click, so, and it's also a good security alert um, to let you know uh, what's, what's going on with your accounts as well. Uh, so, generate strong passwords. So we'll show you how to generate strong passwords um, and help you uh, help you along the way. Um, auto change passwords in one click. That's uh, real nice. Um, looks like for your uh, mobile phone, um, so we'll be checking that out. Checking that out as well for the mobile phone and tablet. Uh, let's see here. Have your password wherever you go. So yeah, so tablet, computer, phone. It's always good. Wall Street Journal's talked about them. Got a lot of good ratings. So yeah both on the Apple Store and Google Play. So let's go ahead and get Dashlane. Actually, before we do that, really quick, um, sorry, I wanted to uh, go here. Um, check out their plans. So for free, uh, manage up to 50 passwords autofill all passwords. So 50 passwords dashing on one device. So if you want it just on your computer, it's free. Um, uh, from security alerts, okay. So for four bucks a month, or five bucks a month, uh, we get the uh, secure VPN, unlimited passwords, save data as well here. Um, and here we go, okay, let's see, and 10 bucks a month, gets you a little bit more extra features down here, real time credit monitoring, um, up to 1 million in identity theft, um, insurance coverage, which is, I guess, nice to have. Um, so yeah, so we'll probably end up getting this one um, once we install the first one. So as we add the other devices, we'll probably have to upgrade to this one.
And they do also have some business pricing as well. So if you're a large company um, and you have half a dozen or more employees, you can get pricing here, um, start a trial. So and it even has uh, admin, admin controls. So, uh, so yeah, so let's go ahead and, and get Dashlane for free. So add Dashlane now. Sign up, okay. Okay, so we got our email here. Um, just go ahead and sign in, thank you very much. Your new sign up. Okay, so here we go. Thank you. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, see system requirements. So for system requirements, um, you're going to need this stuff here. And for the iOS device, you can look over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get. So this is going to bring up the, okay, so it is brought up to the App Store. And we're going to get right here. Now that we have downloaded it, um, before we launch really quick, I want to check my email. Just okay, dashboard. Dashboard management system just got to add. Brought up a little menu here. Um, so dashboard manager, um, dash lane, dash lane. Just brought up a um, key here, so we're going to go ahead and. and um, your cookies. I'm going to go ahead and allow it. I don't. I don't allow. I don't like allowing a lot of things. But we're going to turn it on. That way, it brings it up here. So go ahead and just go click there and see what happens. So get started for free. So we're going to create an account really quick. Type in, uh, type in the uh, email. And it didn't, it hasn't sent me an email back yet, so let's strange but okay okay nice it uh, does that sure yeah we're going to receive email ones that's uh, I don't usually like doing it but for, for this we'll go and we are going to save So, re-enter password one more time, okay? So, I you know what, let's go. Oh, it didn't even match. Look at that. There we go. Let it do its thing. Okay, so this has a... Fairly nice layout here. Um, easy to read, easy to see. Uh, so let's go to. So nothing is in here yet. Uh, it's got our email address. And payment system doesn't have that either. So, because it's brand new. Let's go ahead and uh, add one right here. So, website. Um, Okay, so let's go ahead and add Facebook really quick. Dot com. 
login is And for notes, we're just gonna go just go put in um, so my Facebook, my Facebook. Let's just go into my Facebook one more. Come, on. uh, let's see. Uh, always, uh, always log me in to this website. Always require a master password. Um, so we go and save this. See what happens. So we're gonna go to website and see what happens. So it has logged me in right from there. So you click this button over here and it uh, keeps, keeps track of things here. So um, this website I'll fill everything, reports, no issues down here. So, yeah. And so I could actually change the password. Um, so let's see. I want to, look at that, so I can actually generate passwords. Um, length from four to 28. And look at that, I can just copy it. It's in my copy. And I can select different things here, which is kind of nice. And down here, I can actually log in and log out from here. And okay. And there we go. So let's go back. That's how you add a place. Um, you can continue adding more and more and more here. Uh, get notified. Notifications right there. Uh, let's see, source the title. Actually, actually, put some secure notes in here. Uh, the title. Keep things just for you. Personal information. Um, so we do names, phone numbers. Keep track of everything. And also your payment history. As well, so if you wanted to add a credit card, you could do that here. So enter a credit card, and it would save all your data, and you can actually color them. Um, it's changed up here that way, you can see, um, so you know which one's which. Nice and kind of a quick way to do it. So we're gonna cancel that. My account, and so we can everything is synced here for now. So right now we're just using this. Um, we can also sync, refer a friend, um, help send if there's any questions, features, policies. And you have the premium account. So with that, I was actually hoping to register so we can go view this on my phone. Uh, let's see here. I don't want to log out. Let's check my email real quick. There we go. Dashling, welcome. So here's the email that you're going to receive. It just talks about uh, everything else, um, autofills, and improve your password health, which is always good. 
We always need, we always need help getting with that. So let's go ahead and check this out really quick. So this is a good read over. I actually am not going to read this on here, but go ahead and check it out. It talks about kind of where it shows up. Um, kind of mine's over here. It's like here. If you're on an Apple device, it's going to show up on the other side, which kind of makes sense since all your information is over there. And it just kind of goes through step by step on what to do. And kind of actually a nice little video here that does that. Um, and it looks like you can also change your, so yeah, that's actually a nice feature. So if we go back here really quick, we can actually, um, logging actually to change. So can we, I can copy my address, login, I can't save. Oh, it was there. It's actually not it. So password here, I can just copy it. Show it. I uh, can't change it though. And to do so, basically, you just kind of to delete it and share. What does share do? So I can just share, share this to a group. Um, so if you have a, if you're managing an account, say like. Um, a group website and you have a couple of people that have access, they need access to it. You can actually share it to them through this um, and then they would receive it on their end, which is actually kind of a nice feature. You do want to be careful on who you share stuff to, but this is a nice little feature um, that you can do it that way. It's actually shared safely. So how do I, if I want to upgrade my account, how do I upgrade? Okay, so as we showed earlier, um, and we may have to come back, we'll, I'll see what I can do here. Um, but we do have a, if you go to, if you go to account here, it does show this. Um, it expires in 30 days, so that's why we can't, I, uh, it's, it goes right to here. So as you see, it worked uh, pretty well on the uh, computer, um, so I hope you enjoyed. And um, if you uh, have any comments, please uh, make some comments down below on your thoughts. And I'd actually love to hear your experiences with password managers. Uh, so we can actually see uh, work those into our videos as well. For sure. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care, folks.